Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making some tallow. Now the first thing you want to do is acquire some beef or lamb fat from your local butcher. It's very cheap. My local butcher sells a box which is 20 kilos for $10. That is 50 cents per kilo. Crazy! This will make you a lot of tallow. One important thing to remember is that the animal has to have been grass-fed and finished, not on grain, which is exactly how ruminants should be living, out there on the pastures eating some fresh green grass. So once you've got your fat, chop it up and put it in a big pot. Now if your butcher gave you fat chunks, chop it up and put it into the pot. But my butcher already pre-minced it for us, as you can see. So I'm just going to put the whole thing into the pot. So here we have our large pot and let's put this in. If it fits. Oh my gosh, does it even fit? As you can see, it does not fit in the pot. Look at that. So we're gonna have to chop it up in the end and save some for next time's rendering. All right, I got some out and we've got about that much in the pot. Now to add one to two liters of water and three to four tablespoons of salt. And this salt is what draws out the impurities from the tallow, which I will show you later. Now put it on low heat and let it simmer for about one to two hours. Once the fat has melted, then you can choose to strain it through a cheesecloth to get all the meat chunks out of it. Or if there aren't any chunks, then you pour it everything straight into a bowl, let it cool down a little bit, and then put it into the fridge and let it harden overnight. Or instead of a cheesecloth, you can use one of these metallic cool thingamajigs and just strain out these chunks, put them in a bowl, and we are not chucking this out. No, 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 this is very good for some chickens. This is very good fat and protein and whatever else is in here, and it's great for chickens. So save it, freeze it, bag it up, and save it for chickens. Hello everyone, welcome back. It is the next morning, so let's go and check on our tallow in the fridge. Look at that butte. Tallow on the top, dirty salty water on the bottom with all the impurities. And now we've got to take out this tallow cake and scrape off the impurities of the bottom of it. And I'll show you what that looks like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the tallow cake on the top. And this is the impurities that the salt is drawing out. So you can just scrape this off. And voila, you've just done your first rendering of tallow. You can use this already straight in cooking and it will have that subtle beefy flavour which is really good for potato chips as in my previous video. Or if you want to use this on your face, you can render it again. So chop it up again, put it back in the pot with more salt, more water, put it back in the fridge again to harden, do the whole process all over and again and it will be more white more pure and less stinky. So that's how to make tallow. It's healthy, it's affordable, and it's not too hard to make. So there it is guys, you've run out of excuses. Start taking control of your health. Like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next video.